Jessica, what you've been showing me in scripture is so wonderful and exciting, I feel like it's too good to be true, could you show me more? It would be my pleasure. In Galatians 4 6 and 7 it says, And because you are sons, God had sent forth the Spirit of his Son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. It says that we are right now sons, and heirs, and no longer slaves, it does not say maybe someday in the future, if we are good enough, but this is true of us right now. And Romans 5 5 says, Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Our hope of salvation in Christ is a kind of hope which is certain, it does not disappoint, and his Holy Spirit in us is proof of that. And notice that it does not say that the Holy Spirit might be given to us, if we shape up, but it says that the Holy Spirit was already given to us. 2 Corinthians 1 21 and 22 says, Now he who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God who also has sealed us and given us the Spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. The verses never at any time say that he will give us the Holy Spirit if we do enough good, and don't do a certain amount of bad. But no matter the amount or degree of sin in our lives, the verses always say that he has already given us the Holy Spirit as a guarantee that we could never lose our salvation. And just so we do not worry thinking that we could lose the Holy Spirit who is our guarantee, he says that he has sealed us when he gave us the Holy Spirit. And again, in Ephesians 1 13b, it says that having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. We were sealed off from any possibility of losing the guarantee of our salvation who is the Holy Spirit. So he alone is our guarantee, it does not depend on us, so we could not possibly mess up our salvation if we tried. Right. It does not say we were sealed after we got busy, but it says having simply believed, we were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. 2 Corinthians 5 5 says now he who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who also has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. So the Spirit is our guarantee, not our performance. Right, and again and again, God tells the believer that he has already given us the Spirit as a guarantee of our salvation. It's not something which will happen sometime in the future if we get our act together, but it is something which he has already accomplished for us. And he gave us the Spirit as our guarantee of salvation, and therefore salvation is not something we could ever lose. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 18 and 19 say, For through him, we both have access by one Spirit to the Father. Now, therefore you are no longer strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Notice that there are no maybes in these verses, but he says to the one who simply believes, that we presently right now, this very moment and forever have access to the Father. And that we are no longer outsiders, but are now fellow citizens and members of the household of God. So we could doubt our salvation all we want, but that could never change the fact that our salvation is guaranteed. Exactly.